I've spent a lot of my time over the years exploring particularly the east coast of Australia and I've come across like some amazing animals that people just had no idea was right there like at our doorstep and the biodiversity is just incredible and I'm really like blown away by how much marine life we have available to us here in Australia. So can you tell me where you've been spending time recently? I understand you've been up at Magnetic Island and you've been photographing a species of octopus. Yeah, so at the moment I'm based in far north Queensland on Magnetic Island. And it's just such a great place for cryptic invertebrates such as octopus, my favourite. Um, a lot of them are nocturnal and live underground. So I've been going on like a few night snorkels, looking around the intertidal zone. So it's been really fascinating. So the octopus up here are very different to the octopus I've encountered down south because um, the ones here, there's so much competition, so many predators, so they've adapted to living underground. And a lot of them are nocturnal too, so not many people have even seen them. So it's really nice to um, photograph and film these animals. What are you then doing with that footage? Are you posting it online, sharing it with the scientific community? Yeah, so usually I'll um, share it to my audience and I'll also, if it's like a rare or cryptic sighting, I'll put it on sites like iNaturalist so the scientific community can take note of the distribution and get like a relative abundance of these animals. So yeah, I definitely encourage people to um, log their sightings of rare marine life on sites like iNaturalist. It's really good. Now, with the kind of snorkelling and diving you're doing, you are up in far north Queensland. You say it's night time. There are crocs in that area. Is that a concern or is it just part of the risk of, of following your passion? Last year, me and my girlfriend, Casper, were going to go out and look at coral spawning. But then, like our local beach, there was a croc sighting, so we couldn't go um, and see the coral spawning because of the crocs. So definitely a few more hazards you have to be aware of up here than compared to down south. And what's your top tip for a budding photographer or videographer? Yeah, I would say um, definitely get comfortable, like, in the water. So, like, buoyancy and always dive with a buddy and, like, water safety techniques. And then it's really about just, like, exploring your local beach or area and getting to really know the marine life there. You can read, like, the scientific literature, engage with, like, various communities. It's just, like, a realm of exploration, pretty much. We are in an era of talking a lot about reef conservation and environmental protection. Do you hope by sharing the kind of content you do that that may also help that message? Yeah, for sure. I think we live in such an interesting age where technology is so accessible to us and it's great to share our encounters and experiences with nature. I don't feel like the more people know what's actually out the stronger we can value nature and animals and we can like put more effort and meaning into protecting them.